Lois Estrella with the reading for the collective. Take what resonates throughout the rest. Watch out for scammers in the comments section. Pretending to be me soliciting you for readings, though that is not me. All right, what does the collective need to know? Wow, Ten of Swords. So somebody's bottoming out in a major way. Rock bottom, big betrayals, Six of Pentacles, some sort of unfair power balance or didn't get the money or is having some sort of money problems or someone's in debt or someone, someone created an unfair power balance. Wow, Moon, this person is feeling... Uh, there's something to do with the seed or feeling very crazy or confused about their path in the recent past. Wow, there was an injustice that was created or acknowledged. This person wants to take a deeper look at um, how to heal or someone that's very healing. Investigate that. Got a lot falling on the floor here. Um, from another deck, the Chariot in Reverse fell down. And then um, Five of Swords fell down. I'm going to keep it. So they might not have the best intentions. I don't know. Um, or healing the Five of Swords could be the issue. Um, after this injustice, this person has hit rock bottom. <sighs> yeah, ding. Something about Knight of Wands trying to take a very bold, passionate move um, in regards to karma. I see death here as well. Queen of Cups, patience and planning. Um, we have, um, well, King of Wands in the, they're looking at something about a new beginning. Um, this could be a tower moment. I'm going to put it back in the deck um, as well. Tower moment in regards to somebody's accolades or something they're creating. Some sort of ships coming in. Um, something seems to be a dream come true in the environment. Someone could maybe come across as a little bit happy about something or... Yeah. This person is afraid of gossip and spying or trying to think very cleverly about something or they want to want to create some sort of like gossip or words to um, combat a situation outcome whoa three of swords in reverse so this could be someone overcoming a lot of heartache or a deepening of the heartache and pain this has to do with someone's network and work and something someone is building okay so this Ten of Swords, this person is really hitting rock bottom here. Um, a huge betrayal. This is a very painful ending. Um, what does this have to do with? This just opened up on its own for me. I'm going to take it. Something that's not going anywhere. No commitment. There's a lack of commitment here. This, this can't continue or there's no staying power. Something, un something happened with the Queen of Wands, uh, some unfair power balance, something unfair, and that's the problem. Moon, Moon in the subconscious position, some sort of lack of clarity or deceit, an illusion. Yeah, some sort of deceitful thing happened, or is this person wants to react from a place that's um, very hasty and crazy. Or they have in the past, and that's what there is, is in their subconscious, some sort of lunacy. And in the subconscious, I think that's a dangerous place for it to, to live. Honestly, the moon in the subconscious, not, not, not good. Yeah, the injustice has to do with this queen of pentacles. Someone um, who maybe uh, runs a business and a home. Five of swords is clarifying five of swords. That's so crazy. I said, this is the one that fell on the floor. Um, so it's coming out to clarify something. Someone's looking into some, something more deeply, into somebody's healing, but they're doing it to win at all costs. Um, someone's going to make a bold, passionate move towards their destiny or in regards to destiny. Empress in reverse. So I feel like this is a karmic feminine who 
is going to be reacting very badly to um, a shift in the energies here. Is is reacting badly. They don't like that justice is playing out. That there was some unfair treatment here. Um, a lot of injustices that were were done and created towards a divine feminine energy. There's a lot of lunacy happening in the subconscious that this person can't acknowledge uh, that they might need help. Or, I mean, this is deep, deep help with the Knight of Swords reversed and the moon. Yeah, in the subconscious, it just feels like lunacy that's out of control. Uh, but yeah, <sighs> it's hard to articulate that. That's heavy, that's deep. Moon in the subconscious. An illusion in the subconscious. I mean, that it's unaddressed, that's unaddressed lunacy that can't even come up to the surface. And so someone is reacting from some deep, uh, deep illusion or lunacy that's under the surface, that is inaccessible. And they're reacting to it internally, subconsciously as well, before it even comes up to the surface. It's like so embedded, like in inside their soul and their DNA at this point. I think that's what's disturbing. It's disturbed. It's disturbing and it's disturbed. It's disturbing because as far as healing goes, to have that be so deeply embedded underneath or inside uh I think it takes a long time. Someone might have done something so many times. It's just that it like it like formed who this person is in the subconscious. And now, when this person reacts or does anything, it's it's based on things that it's almost like this is why this person's out of control. And there's a buildup of this. So. You know, peeling back those layers Ugh, that's making them react. Knight of Swords, this can be very cruel and hasty and dangerous. Knight of Swords reverse and the moon in the subconscious is very, it's dangerous. That's this person, it, that's like psychotic. Yeah. It's the person that's been creating injustices and focused on you and creating like these unfa unfair power imbalances purposefully, who's now reacting badly because there's healing happening. So their intention is to, you know, their intention is to, to make sure that this healing does not happen. It's not going to work. It's not going to work. Um, because, but karma is playing out here. They wanted, you know, this is them, Empress in Reverse. This is the part, this is the copycat energy that's been trying to be you. It's like you're back on your path here. And somehow, this is the lunacy, is that they feel like they have to be you at all costs. Which means destroying the actual you. Which just reminds me of like a horror film, uh invasion of the body snatchers that's what it, it's so crazy no this person is their own person um they're not you and you can't go destroying other people to try to be them that's so weird and because this is your your destiny they're very consciously moving towards trying to move towards your wheel this is like making moves to try to stop your own wheel and turn you upside down it's so weird Okay, King of Wands, Ace of Cups. I feel like they're looking at a masculine energy. I just did a reading. I just did a reading about a hanged man who's confused, feeling stuck in a gray area. They want to jump. They want to get on, you know, the vibrations, the higher vibrations. They want to ascend. They want to ascend, but they're stuck dealing with karma for one, and there's a lot of confusion, muddied up aura. But they see self-love as the beginnings of it. They see love as the beginnings of it. Love is the answer idea. It's not just romantic, though. This is about holding a higher vibration of love energy. Now they feel stuck, though. 
because of like, you know, just it's a conundrum of karma to ascend, to reach the love energy and also the karma from this like third party situation and like juggling you and justice playing out. However, there's some clarity going. Yeah. Trying to let go of the fog. They know they're in a fog trying to let go of it. They know it's they have to turn this ace of cups this way. They know that. That's what something that they didn't know. All of this like self-indulgence isn't isn't the answer. And being with someone who's accentuating that energy is also not the answer. But that's why they feel stuck and they want to right this wrong. They want to right this wrong. This unconditional love. They're, everything is inverted and upside down for them. But at least in their fog, they know it's almost like being underwater. It's like being underwater and seeing the surface. But like tied to a uh, an anchor with a very fancy knot. You know, with someone who is trying to scramble the ropes all around you. Like, that's the kind of vibe. But being able to see. Uh, but every time they make a move, it, like, tangles them more. But they can see the surface, and it's almost like they can see you. They can see you um, just above the surface. And it looks, something looks good and right and correct. And they remember something about it. So it's like... This masculine energy, if it's a divine connection especially, has to do with healing more, just not themselves, but, you know, it's um, a collective of distorted masculine energies. It's a collective, it's a shift, and it's a generational shift, this healing movement, moving towards unconditional love for, for very strong masculine energy. It shifts, it's a planetary shift, so it's... It's good. Even even the vision towards the surface from a fog is a good shift. But they've got this distorted feminine energy here who wants to stop that from happening. It's very selfish. It's all about what they can get. It's not about humanity. Um, it's why they're trying to turn you upside down. They've been creating these injustices and trying to hold on to this masculine energy and keep them in that distorted, selfish kind of fog and so that's what they're looking at though they're seeing someone with an ace of cups turned upright and that's that's partially why this they're bottoming out i mean there could be something else i feel like it's this masculine energy that doesn't want to keep doing this they've seen the surface of the water they want to know what it feels like to love themselves and to be clear and not be hateful Wow. Uh, Nine of Cups. Yeah. Something that seems like a dream come true. It's not a Ten of Cups, but it's there's some truth coming out here. I feel like it's exciting. It's exciting. Page of Swords. Truth. Gossip. King of Pentacles. They don't want people to know that this person is getting clarity. I don't know. Some sort of truth coming out. And maybe they want everyone to think. Because their position matters to them a lot. Like their, their label. Label. Position. Um, that's not the right word. But I think you get what I mean. They care so much about what people think about their status. So any truths coming out about this masculine energy um, really bothers them. Anyone thinking thinking other than the, the illusion that they've tried to create, <clears throat> that they are you and you are nothing. Uh, yeah. So the outcome is hermit in the reverse. So whatever it is that they're looking into, they're coming from the wrong place. And it's, it's like um, they're going to have to withdraw. They're going to feel very isolated here. Um, they're going to have to move on from whatever this is. It's just this is the wrong direction to be going at this juncture. And they're going to end up with the same nightmare that they're creating that's in their subconscious that they're going to have to deal with it. They're going to have to. Um, instead of trying to scramble and stop someone else, they're going to have to look inwards and see what, what it is that's driving them to, to create these injustices. Um, but yeah, so just someone not... You know, someone not going along with this plan is enough, you know, 
to create a ten of swords for them. They created a ten of swords for you. Now, one thing. They feel ten swords in their back from one thing where they've done multiple ten of swords for you in the past. So it's it's interesting that they've done all of this, but just the one see with this five of swords that's been their sta stance this whole time, multiple injustices over and over and over again for some of you for years. And they have one one issue and this is this is the uh, the outcome which I just find interesting because it's like I, I, I feel like if you know do unto others so that the idea is if you don't feel like you would enjoy something that is happening uh, that, that you per, per, perpetuate or uh, the word I'm looking for if you do something to someone that you can't take you know don't don't do it don't do it if you're living in an untruth that requires someone else to be, you know, at a loss because of an untruth, or you're taking or stealing or hurting someone else or creating injustices in order to um, feel better about yourself or whatever it is, it's not the answer because that's how it feels that's how it feels even one time it's like so interesting can barely take what, what they've dished out and it's just an observation it's just an observation um I don't really get any satisfaction out of saying it even though it sounds like it um that they would that they would go so far so many times against you but that just like one move, one move, and they can barely take it. One move, things working out in your favor. I mean, when things get restored, it's gonna be like completely restored. This person, I mean, for you, a lot of you already feel you're on your path regardless of what this person tries to do to you, so it doesn't matter. But I know that their perspective of how things unfold for you is so like it means so much to them because it's like a lot of them feel like they're you or something um so so yeah that's just interesting you know definitely not gloating not gloating at all because the whole thing just feels like a useless exercise even though there's a lot of growth that's happened and you've become so strong yeah dang you've you've learned so much about like your own strength and it's helped you, you transmuted the energy and grown spiritually and become stronger because of it. Um, so that's the positive part about it. But yeah, whatever they're trying to do here, they feel like they're losing control with this chariot in reverse. You know, they could go do doing some action here that is just really, you know, with this knight of swords in reverse also. A very destructive and out of control here maybe as it pertains to some sort of network of yours that you share with them if you do know them like that um, if you if you have any common commonalities they could be trying to reach out and destroy something here for you that you're working on and building um, and it, I don't know other ways I mean every each of you is different here but where they could try to like look into or investigate this healing um this temperance angel um this balance finding ways to destroy it that's their purpose here that's what the cards are saying um but they're not going to be able to whatever investigation it is it's going to have to turn inwards and they're going to have to look inwards which is good that's good because they have a lot in the subconscious that they need to address going on here it's causing them to act out this way. So um, if you resonate with this reading, I hope that it helps and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.